is that time again for the monthly collab with the Beauties and Geeks. Today I will be doing Peter Parker for August. So if you want to see what I did for Peter Parker, please stay tuned. I decided to do nails um, and I've done these nails like three days ago when this collab was supposed to actually went up on the 20th sorry it took me so long to remember I need to actually film this so these are kind of to start but then I thought hey since they're kind of distorted maybe they're in game um Spider-Man nails because he he gets he gets the zap. So uh so here we go. Um I did the blue and red like distorted looking mm, stripey things. It's like on his suit. I did this nail that's like his mast. So that's kind of what I was dealing with with the spider man okay so I did the same thing on the other nails and I will do a close-up um, pictures of this on Instagram so if you want to see these nails close up go to Instagram um, so I did do Green Goblin makeup for July. So August I thought since it's P I just had to do Peter Parker which is Spider-Man or the version of Spider-Man I like um, and I know there's multiple Peter Parkers but the one I like is always the one that falls in love with MJ and MJ is my favorite um, Peter Parker girlfriend Mary Jane is just the one I liked him with um but the virgin i like the most is the one that's a teenager that's in school um then eventually grows up to marry mary jane they have kids and all the trimmings later on in the in the comic books issues the thing i like about spider-man is he's a mega nerd throughout the comic book so you kind of get the angst that he has when he's a teenager and then he gets these powers and he learns that life has a lot of responsibility through the power um and he has to make difficult choices like he has to walk away from mary jane for a while because he has to be more a superhero than his personal life so that's kind of the reason i like spider-man so much is he's very much a nerd but someone that no, understands responsibility and I think that was a good lesson that Stan Lee was trying to teach the teen agers of that day is life comes with responsibilities and if you don't take on your responsibilities they get out of hand because when Peter did try to run from his responsibilities it would get out of hand like we tried to not be a hero first comment we tried not to be a hero and we all heard his origin story but when he tried not to be a hero we get our most famous line ever when his uncle gets shot from the robber from the wrestling match with great power there's a great responsibility so the that just escalates throughout the comic. He, he, he keeps on trying to run from being Spider-Man or be using Spider-Man um, the right way to be a hero. Sometimes he tries to do personal gang things and it always tr turns out to bite him in the end. So he learns throughout his adventures that yes you have to take on your responsibilities because they will come back to bite you and that was a really good lesson to be teaching somebody i know there's a lot of people nowadays that probably needs that lesson but anyway 
I will see you all in the next video. If you like these videos, please do give me a thumbs up and let me know down below. Please do go and follow or go and watch all of the lovely ladies that's linked down below and add in their comment section hashtag Miss Kelly's Kitten Raid where they'll know you came from the channel. Um, I know this one's a little bit shorter, but I did forget and I am doing this right in front of getting ready for church. So I will see you all in the next video. I know I probably done said that. Um, be kind to one another. Enjoy your day. Don't just enjoy your day. And I love you all very, very much. If you are new here, please do click that big red button, turn it gray, become a kitten today. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.